Good morning. This is a video on getting dressed with me. So basically, when I wake up, well, when you're at a woman of a certain age, when you wake up, you're gonna look like ugh. So you can see all my um, freckles, of course my gray hair, and my blood rich, red bloodshot eyes. This video, um, I've already, uh, of course, washed my face and put moisture in it because you really should let the moisture sink in and absorb in your skin before you start applying everything else. There's time that you need to wait in between each step. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing I do usually um, when I um, start to get dressed in the morning after washing my face and moisturizing my lips, I did put some Eve Pearl on my lips, but I also put eye drop in. And this is an eye drop by Visine, and it's for contact lens. And this one, I only wear contact in one eye. So, and that's just to see close because I can see fine far. And yes, um, and I couldn't wear those um, bifocal type of uh, contact lens. And this is just one for, you know, getting the red out of just normal eyes. So I go ahead and put the eye drops in. Uh, there might be portions of this video where I might be a little silent. Um, haven't learned how to do voiceover yet. I haven't um, practiced that. Um, for like a good three weeks or so, a little while back, I was having technical difficulties, so it kind of held me up and got me where I, I didn't get to, you know, like really practice things. So then the next thing I do, basically, I comb my hair before I do my... Um, my makeup most of the time because if my hair is not right I know how to put my emergency makeup on good enough where I don't have to go out without makeup but my hair needs to be mostly right so then here is the um, the hair mascara that I get from the 99 cent store and first I kinda you know put this on my um, gray hairs around the, my edges and once again, I'm trying to find something that will get rid of these grays and last for a while because this doesn't seem to last very long. I got a mirror right here because uh, it's a magnified mirror, and I think it's like a 15 magn magnetized, magnetized. And then when I look in this magnified mirror, I also start to notice that I have little chin hair. So sometimes in my morning routine, I'm also um, I'm also um, plucking hand ch chin hairs, and so that's why I have pigmentation, hyperpigmentation there, and then I also had hyperpigmentation going on my forehead, and that was just based on some um, product that I used, and then I went out in the sun, and I guess I didn't um, let the sunscreen settle in um, well enough, and it's kind of like a, I don't know what you would call it, it kind of uh, magnified the problem. So for one one moment there, when I was trying to get rid of hyperpigmentation and using stuff off the market, I just basically um, would uh, just go, and if it says to get rid of it, I would just put it on and didn't realize that you have to take precaution when you're doing those things. And I think I shared that on one of my videos. A lot of times when I have trouble with these stubborn grays and I just get sick of looking at them and trying to work on doing something with them I usually end up just making me some bangs or something and because I still more than more than um, more times than not put my hair up in some up hair style a lot of times I'm just lazy to do hair but basically this would be my emergency hairdo so I'm just gonna put it in a twist basically so I'm taking a brush make sure I got it all combed through because boy when it's not combed through and then I try to do my hair ritual in the night which is um adding moisture to my hair and um all of that and you know it's harder for me to comb through it so I do my treatment for my hair in the night and wrap it up and then that way um my hair will feel soft and shiny for the morning okay so basically I'm just doing like a french twist and putting a claw clip in it and if I were in the bathroom instead of the bedroom I would be hairspraying that down and I'm just going to put some more um, hair mascara on that because I just 
don't like the way that looks. All right, moving on. Oh, give me one. So then I'm just basically going to brush this to the side some kind of a way. Right now I know it's going to be partly in the way of me finishing my hair so I'll just temporarily um, pin it up and have it out of my way until I finish doing my hair. But that's basically how I'm going to wear it. Alright so then the first thing that I do I'm going to get some hand sanitizer because I have to put coconut oil in my hair and I can feel it once I comb my hair and since usually I'm back and forth from my makeup to the uh, bathroom. Alright, so here you have my skin that's improving with all the discoloration that I had and um, that's where this came in. So I'm going to start out first of all, I've, like I said I've already lotioned my face. So I'm going to start out with uh, the um, opal. It's the um, foundation stick and this color is beautiful, beautiful bronze. Um, and what I normally do is I take an e.l.f. powder brush and um, I spray it with some sort of um, finishing um, spray. And this is the NYX finishing spray that I um, purchased from Target. I'm sure you can get it from Ulta and even online. And then I kind of run the brush across it to get some, some of it on there. This brush is shedding. shedding. And then I kind of do like across my forehead under my eye where I have the raccoon thing going on and right here so um, and I don't know I kinda like to just this 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 um, wet feeling kinda helps it smooth across your face better this is a creamy um, foundation and um, uh, let's see sorry about that it's like looking in the um, camera feels different for me looking in this mirror so I'm probably and I still see that I have a lot of grays I'm not, I don't try to get rid of every gray I just try to calm it down because I after all um I'm old enough to be having these grays so I don't need to be ashamed of it so then I go ahead and just put 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 it on and um kind of work it in under my jaw my chin around my mouth and my nose and under my eyes where my little raccoon is going on so I had a high pic happy pigmentation going across my forehead big old patch here over here and probably some places on my jaw it, it's just the strangest thing so then after that I kind of go ahead and um, start doing my eyes and the reason why I do my eyes is because if I'm running late or running short this is the um, elf mineral eye shadow primer because if I'm running late I can put some mascara on and go and I'm already um, pretty much done I started using a brush to put this on all before I would use my hands and just lately um, I started using a brush because uh, my eyeballs just don't like the pressure of my finger and um, I don't know how to go lighter um, do a lighter touch than what I'm doing so anyway, the purpose of the primer is just to help the uh, uh, foundation stay on, and usually you can use a uh, a base after that to even out your um, your eyelid color and also to allow it to um, have whatever eyeshadow you put on um, come out in its true color. Okay, so I just shake this powder, which is the Elf high definition powder which I speak about and then I take the pad and I just scoop pad in all the powder that was on there and I just pat it on my face because um what do you call it I, I kinda brush it off if it's too much but in the meantime I leave it sitting on kinda absorbing um any of the foundation and I use another elf brush to um, buff it in also or brush it off so um then I go ahead and I take this MAC eyeshadow and um, actually it's a MAC blush and there's the color and it I've hit pan so bad um, I don't even know if uh, MAC still makes this only because I purchased this so long ago and then I go ahead and I go ahead and use any old type of 
um, eyeshadow brush and this one happens to be an elf professional eyeshadow brush and then I just use the blush as eyeshadow and I just go ahead and get it all um, across the brush and then I use one side of the brush for one eye and then the other side for the other just to feel like um, so I can pack on the amount that I need and then I can go ahead and start building it up or um, seeing how much more I need so I like you know especially when I'm about to run out of my favorite um, favorite product because I know I can't say my five favorite eyeshadow because it's a blush but this is something that well I like using certain when I find a color I like for my eyes I don't care if it's an actual eyeshadow or if it's actual um uh, blush and I used to search for Mary Kay just so that I can um buy a certain blush because I wore it on my eyes and I'm when I lived in moved from California to Boston I had to hunt down some Mary Kay people I'm sorry when I moved from Florida to Boston I had to hunt down some Mary Kay people so I kind of just use a um, blending brush and kind of blend out the harsh lines and I do work it all the way up to my um past my brow bone and that just seems to work for me and so um if it's not broke do not fix it all right so then um I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of brush off whatever powder that's hanging out on my face so that um I can see what I look like to see where to add some concealer so it just kind of helps even out your complexion it's not a lot of foundation I don't need a lot and I didn't put primer on because basically I'm doing a tutorial and I don't want to waste my primer <laughs> and for what I'm doing it will stick so then what I do next is um in the way of putting makeup on um, I put this um, Mally liner and this is um uh, this is a, a waterproof eye eyeliner and it's this blue because blue seems to just I don't know it's it's different from black and I like the way it um brings out my eyes a lot of times rather than the um the black and then pink and blue it goes so I'm usually wearing this is like the you know get ready with me as as in what I do on an everyday basis when I'm not doing anything special when I'm not going anywhere special and I go ahead and line my eyes with it also and this is a type of eyeliner that you cannot cry off it doesn't come off until you take it off and that's good especially for people with oily eyelids or who are crybabies so this is what you want to wear when you're going to a movie that is a tearjerker so then I go ahead and this is Mally mascara as well and this is the volume volu volumizing mascara and because I have more than one of these I kind of mark it to know that this is the one that I'm using so that I can um, not mix it up and open up the wrong one and then you know you have that three month um, time period on this although I use my mascaras for more than three months I don't know why because um, I don't know I can tell when I need to dump them it's like they smell funny look funny and act funny and when it does all that then I toss it but lately I have been completely using up the tube so I just basically toss it when I'm done with it I very rarely um, put mascara on my bottom eyelashes I bought some some of the uh, Clinique I um, waterproof mascara for the bottom eyelashes I lost it in the movies nobody returned it so bummer all right then I just go ahead and take this uh, this foundation brush and I also wet it also because I don't know it just there's just a difference between a wet brush and a dry brush and this is what I'm gonna take to um, kind of this is what um, I use I'm not contouring but somehow it helps makes me feel better getting rid of that extra dark I don't have any correction type of product like that salmon correction whatever so this is what's working for now and so this is what I use to just kind of make my um, make me feel better about my high pick hyper pigmentation 
on my forehead that I'm so thankful you never even know I'm so thankful to my oldest daughter for giving me some natural products that I've been using for a couple of weeks and that's um, bringing down that um, discoloration that I shouldn't have had in the first place and I feel so upset but what am I going to do um, live and learn so I kind of um, take it around um, this concealer around my um, mouth because it's kind of dark around my mouth and under my eyes and I know I'm pressing too hard but this is like my everyday out the door when I'm just trying to look decent and um, this is what I do so and then um, I just kind of put whatever was left on there on top of that I don't get any more powder I basically pat it all in with this powder brush powder puff I should say alright and you know how I am about my eyebrows I have issue with an eyebrow so I'm gonna brush them up because I cannot stand um, these untamed all over the place eyebrows on anyone and I don't really pluck I just constantly clean up got a bunch of gray hairs moving in on me I'm not happy about that but I can't pluck them because I'm sure that's just the kind of hair that's coming back in now and I have to figure out another way to deal with those this is a brow master by Laura Geller and it's a long-lasting brow color and it's in dark brown and got this from QVC but Laura Geller's um, sold on her website plus also um, uh, at a uh, Ulta so you might not be able to see it I don't know but I got some gray hairs coming in there that I just tried I don't like I don't like um, do my eyebrows for any type of statement I just do them because they need slightly filling in and some of that gray needs to be handled and then as far as um, I usually wax my eyebrows if I'm really going to have a long day I put a wax across them so they could stay but I don't really fool too much with my um, brows and see I'm already coming coming alive here okay so if I'm going to put anything on my lips I just try to line it with this um, this NYX pencil and it's in brown let me get a pencil sharpener because I don't know where a pencil sharpener is because this is crazy short I'll go ahead and and I just line my lips just because um, that's what the makeup rule book tell me to do and also because <coughs> it should uh, keep your lipstick inbound instead of sliding all over your face I'm trying not to hurt myself because clearly um, need a uh, and I haven't worked that much that long with uh, lip liners so I want to get more into lip liners <coughs> excuse me but as I told you before I want to um, focus on um, some quality <coughs> some quality um, lip pro um, products period just water so I'm gonna be saving my monies and give myself a budget and a separate account just for um, makeup products because I am very interested this is um some let's see ombre um eyeshadow and it's from bourgeois this is from um a london brand um um i basically use it for um my corner eyes i had somebody ask my daughter what do your mom use that this this um this light color um can you see it uh, let's see the, the she used this light color product for and uh, she said for her inner corners and her brow bone I was like so proud of her she pays attention even though she has the least bit interest in makeup but she lets me um she um humors me and listens to me all before I was on YouTube acting like I'm on YouTube and doing this number right here and this number right here and all of us cracking up because we watch a lot of YouTubers do this so then you put this in your inner corners and kind of break brightens and white wakes up your eye and then um, you put it on your brow bone for the same purpose and these are steps that I actually can skip and <coughs> for some reason 
throughout the day, this <clears throat> disappears. So I don't even really know how to get this to even like really stay put. <coughs> I'm sorry, I got a tickle in my throat. So let me go ahead and <clears throat> put my um, jewelry on. And basically today I'm just wearing <coughs> a blue sweatsuit. It's a velour sweatsuit. So, and here's the jacket. And I got it from Old Navy years ago. <coughs> Every year I want to throw it away, but it's just comfy. So I'm going to go ahead and get dressed. And put on my clothes for the day. Obviously, I was half dressed for time in the video. So I have a white tank top on. That's from Old Navy, and I have the pants on. And these are the chucks that I'm wearing. They're like sparkly chucks. And then I'm just going to figure out what piece of jewelry looks better if I would wear these or these. Now, these just hoop through your ear, and these are like bolly. So I'll put them both on, and let's decide together. There's the bolly, and then this is how this goes. And uh, I'm going to be wearing my Hello Kitty necklace that I got for Mother's Day um, almost three years ago from my son. <coughs> Sometimes we never, <coughs> never grow up, so that's part of me not growing up. Then I'm going to go ahead and put a watch on for the day. <clears throat> and I usually just put some sort of ring on. And it doesn't really stay on the whole day because it's just something that I just get impatient with. Then some lip gloss. And this is Elf Lip Gloss. I don't know what color it is in because that tab is so utterly small. I don't know what's wrong with Elf. <coughs> Very sorry. Going ahead and um, <clears throat> put some perfume on, and this is just a rollerball in the uh, the Betsy Johnson Too Too Pretty. So I guess once I figure out what to do with this hair that I left out, I'll be com have completed my, um, let me know what you think. Um, my bangs are too flat. I think they're way down from um, that coconut oil, but they smell good. All right, my brows just don't feel right to me, so. And I guess what you might say, I'm looking a little flat. <clears throat> I like these earrings better than these. I'm going to go ahead and take those off. <coughs> and I'm going to show you. This angled brush is what I would use if I was to put blush on. And I'm just going to put a little blush on. Just because I look flat on the camera. In the mirror I look fine, but this is part of what I do as well. So none of this is not what I do. And then <coughs> time to time I'd use setting spray. And I usually use that for the benefit of by the time I'm done getting dressed, at some point, I will have already inherited a hot flash. So this is my outfit and my hair. And this is how I'll be out for the day.
So please thumbs up if you like this video, if you want more videos, because I'm willing to experiment. I have a huge palette full of eyeshadow that I can get into and would love to get into. Just let me know. All right. Thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. And have a wonderful day. Thank you for tuning in.